Hi everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos that I sporadically do. <laughs> so I'm going to be um, reacting and listening to Thomas Sowell, someone who for the life of me can't figure out why he isn't more popular. I've always had thoughts like this in the past but never felt truly um, confident enough to even voice this because of individuals that are in this room, in the room that he's in. I was always scared of individuals like that, at least to speak the truth around individuals, individuals like this. So let's hear what he has to say. I think we're talking across purposes. On the one hand, we're talking about results that we're hoping for. On the other hand, we're talking about processes that we're setting in motion. Uh, you're saying, should we hope for certain kinds of lessening of inequality and so on? Uh, the real question, the political question is, shall we set in motion certain processes because we hope for that. And do those processes enhance or reduce freedom? And I think the argument that Milton is making, certainly the argument that I would make, is that the attempt at doing these things, and it doesn't really matter, it's a complete straw man to talk about absolute inequality. But if you, if, no, no, he, not yes, at all. Yes, it is, no. absolutely. Throughout the film, this is the straw man he brings up in order to say how ridiculous to have absolute equality. And then he goes on no, to say how ridiculous to have my absolute point is, and and as, well. as, a, as a result, you see, that you set up processes who who's, who's in result may not be any more or less inequality than exists now but the question is those processes may indeed reduce freedom greatly uh, i would go beyond the question of equality and, and put it more generally that any process to ascribe any status to any group of people equality inferiority superiority must necessarily reduce freedom because whatever the government wishes to ascribe to any group whatever whatever place to use the phrase that was very common in the south that blacks should have their place whatever place the government is going to assign to people that place will not coincide wait that, that place will not coincide either with, with what all those people are doing or with how others perceive yes. all those people i 100 percent agree with him on this one and like when i see how in our democracy our so-called democracy we have individuals who purposely want to put people in groups and it's not to show that hey we are being diverse and have all these different groups and we want to include all these different groups into one pool no they're not putting the, each they're not putting individuals in these groups for that reason they're putting people in these groups to give them in my opinion justification for more privileges and when you do that when you do that there's going to be individuals in society who will not agree with you 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 would have it would have to assume you would have to assume that everyone in society will go along with what you are trying to do just to uplift these people how about you not put us in groups how about the, the craziest thing i'm like mind-blowing if you want everyone to be treated equal stop boxing us in groups, groups that you actually try to prescribe upon us, because not all of us will agree that we should be included in that group. Not all of us will uh, believe that we should even be seen as part of that group. How about we just treat each other as individuals and not by groups? There's too much diversity among human beings. To maintain any system of ascribed status from the top is going to mean at reducing people's freedom across the spectrum. That's right. the point. People have an ascribed status. It isn't as if government, by its intervention, creates it. People are born into this world in a given sector of a society, and many, many of them are born at the bottom of the society. The argument for, uh, about equality of results was an argument that was linked to equality of opportunity. People recognized that unless there was a degree of equality in a degree of enough food, enough security, access to education. Unless these things were available to all children, then equality of opportunity was merely a mockery. That's why equality of results became an issue, and it became an issue for black people in the United States, and they expressed their concern, whatever they- You know what, isn't it, a, okay, when you are less, when you are dumbing down the education, when you are making things less available and calling that equality, how is that not a mockery, mockery to wanting equality? I don't get, I don't, I do not get individuals like this. I, to sit here and say equality somehow is linked to um, um, equal opportunity or at least having the opportunity to have, or I guess to fix equality in our society, to me, I think it's kind of stupid because, and the only reason why I say that, no matter how, if we were to reset if we were to literally reset society and everyone had the same amount of money, 
there will be individuals and, and sorry let me let me let me get this in a, a more straight thought if we went back to everyone and and this this has never happened in our society not once but suppose everyone big went back to equilibrium where everyone started at the same spot with the same opportunities the same num uh, amount of money the same value there will be individuals give it 10 years give it 20 years give it 100 years there will be individuals that will take those opportunities and run full blast with it and at the end you will still end up end up with inequality why because not everyone is the same not on all the spectrums no it's impossible it doesn't make sense it's just it's not possible mathematically it's not possible the only way that would be possible is if we're all fucking robots as if we're all fucking drones then yeah you could say that okay we will ne there will never ever be inequality because we all think the same we all act the same we all have the same amount of motivation to do things so i'm like you know I, these types of individuals these type this type of thinking from people drives me insane you express the damn it look <laughs> they, they, express, no, they did not they, they did they, not they damn expressed it, press, that. Then they that. expressed their will by their extraordinary participation in a protest movement that began in the late 1950s and didn't end yeah, until I the have 1960s. Never. Intellectuals were not in that protest movement. You want me to answer? You want to keep going? You want me to answer? The last yes. time I tried, she doesn't Girl. look black to me. Black she loves to never speak about... For example. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I'll go back. I think it's just, I don't mean, I don't know, ironic. I don't even know what to... I don't, I don't even know how this man could sit in that room and have all these white people talk to him that way. And they don't even see their own fucking bigotry. Like, you know what, Tom and Saul, I give it to you. Cause I would have blown up on those people. Like, I give it, I give it to you. Affirmative action, POTUS, anything of that sort. Wherever polls have been taking a black opinion on such matters of should people be paid equally or should there be this or that, black people have never taken a position that you describe. So it is not a question of what black people chose to do. It's what you you choose to put in the mouths of black people. It's what you choose to, to project. It is not what you black people have ever said anywhere that you can put your it's finger on. It's what you on. choose to put into the mouth of the pollsters, as far as I can see. I look at the, the leadership posters, of the black community. Like most people, I have never seen a pollster. If you look at the leadership of the black... <laughs> but I want to go back yeah. to the... I want to carry it back to the, uh, the earlier point. Number one, there's no question about what equality of results, if it comes about through a framework of freedom, is a desirable result. Number two, I argue in the film, I have argued here, that in point of fact, you get greater equality of actual results by a system under which people are free to achieve unequal results. Yep. But for the poor people of the world that uh, Francis Fox Piven was talking about, the most effective mechanism for enabling them to improve their status is not a governmental program which seeks to ascribe to them certain positions, which seeks to provide them with certain goods and services, but a governmental program which tries to eliminate arbitrary barriers to advancement. I would say that in this world, the greatest source of inequality has been special privileges granted by government. That government, you may talk a great deal, there may be a lot of talk about how we're going to eliminate inequality. But if you look at, go back to your case of Britain, is there any doubt that one of the effects of governmental intervention in Britain has been to create new opportunities for special classes? That the way to get wealthy in a society that supposedly is yep. aiming at because there will be individuals who will make who will take advantage of those policies they will take advantage of those policies abuse them and make sure they close that door behind them so no one else no one else can you know get rich off of them there are you know that the way to get wealthy is to get a special government permit to import, uh, import to get foreign exchange or to import goods or to, in this country to set up a television station Okay, so yes, that's the end of this video. I, um, I know I get a little passionate about these topics. In the future, I would try not to be as wordy or, I don't know, overly anxious. <laughs>